Okay, Sydney, um, thanks for interviewing me about my daughter, Janelle. I'm just going to read the questions and then I'll, um, I'll just answer the questions. What sort of fears have you had? Um, okay, so with Janelle, I don't really ha have a lot of fears with her. Um, probably a little bit more impatient because I would like her to get more skills quickly than she's actually doing. Um, maybe if I'm going to have a fear, uh, it would probably be that Janelle is very trusting. And um, because of the lack of communication problems that she has, she would literally go with any stranger. If anybody, if any adult came up to her and said, hey, come with me, I'm going to go take you to your mom, or we're going to go here, there, whatever, she would go with that person. So she doesn't really understand stranger danger. So that's probably the biggest fear I have, because she's pretty cute, and somebody might want her, but then... I don't know, maybe after a while they've had her to find out how much trouble she is, then they, you know, they probably want to give her back. But um, anyway, so how is it different raising Janelle than your other children? Um, we haven't really treated her any different than our other kids. We, we've, you know, we've expected her to do just the same things that they've done. She's just done things at a much slower pace than them. Um we don't, we try not to spoil her. Sometimes we do more for her than necessary just because it takes her so long to get things done and we have to get moving if we have time or strength, so we'll help her more. But um, overall, she's not any different than the other kids. Some ways she's easier, some ways she's more difficult. Um, so, you know, it just, we just really haven't done anything that different. Oh, well, one thing really big different is that just because of the down syndrome she has a lot of therapy so she she does go to a lot of therapy and um even though the therapy is like speech or ot they'll try to make it more fun for her um but it it's work regardless and she pretty much has therapy every day of the week just about um what have you learned from Janelle? Okay, so we've learned, we've actually learned quite a lot from Janelle. We've had to learn a lot about patience, which is not the most fun thing in the world because everything she does takes time. Um, we've also had to, to us, she is like a visual picture of what I think God, how he wants us to, to be, to treat him. Um, Janelle is completely dependent upon us, and I think God wants us to be that same way with him. So that, to me, that's what she is. She's like a visual picture of that here on earth. Uh, we feel very blessed to have Janelle. Um, God really doesn't give anybody these kids. He So I feel very honored that he would choose me to raise Janelle. So I take that very seriously. So I want to do right by her. Um, but the all the work, you know, doesn't even come close to all the rewards that we've received from her. She's just, she's a huge blessing and there's, she just brings a lot of joy. Um, how does Janelle make you feel? Well, she makes me feel great sometimes. She makes me feel every single emotion that my other kids do, just like every single one of you. Um, she makes me feel happy a lot because she's, she's a very happy kid, generally speaking. Um, she makes me feel frustrated, like I want to rip my hair out because she's taking forever. Or she keeps asking, why? Why, Mom? Why this? You know, and I'm like, I tell her, and then she'll ask me a question that she knows the answer to. And I'm like, Janelle, why are you asking me a question you know the answer to? She won't get that joke, but my older son, Jesse, gets that joke. So, um, but she... Um, She's exhausting, just like all my other kids, um, because she requires a lot of extra work. Um, she's, uh, she makes me feel very impatient because it takes her so much longer to do things and accomplish things than her siblings. Um, so she makes me feel every single emotion that there is, you know, to feel just like my other typical kids do. Um, how can you tell... Oh, what can you tell us about Down syndrome? Uh, well, Down syndrome means that in the 21st chromosome, there's an, there's an extra chromosome. Um, so 
She just has an extra. She's got a double X. It's instead of just XY, it's XXY. And um, Down syndrome kids, they can have varying degrees of the disability. Um, some are very high functioning. Janelle is a very high functioning. Um, and then some are really not functioning very well and they require a lot more work. Um, and with the Down syndrome, different things have are easier. Like kids can get sick easier. Um, their immune systems may not be as good. Um, Janelle has um, hearing aids because she had to have tubes in her ears and um, because you know, all their little tubes in their veins in, in their whole body is it's so itty bitty compared to, you know, typical kids. Um, she's a lot smaller in size. Um, so with all of that smallness comes lots of other issues that can take place. So like the, the hearing aids that she has, but other kids can have hearing issues as well. Um, she also wears glasses, but other kids can wear glasses as well. So, um, you know, a uh, lot of kids can get, like, leukemia and different stuff. We've been fortunate. We haven't had to deal with anything like that. I pray God doesn't let us have to deal with that. Um, let's see. Um, but mostly the biggest thing is everything takes a lot longer for her to achieve. So whenever she does achieve those milestones like walking or um, running or potty training, which took 12 years for her to be potty trained, um, that was a huge milestone. So by the time when she was finally 12 and she was completely potty trained, I was, and every kid does it at a different pace. So you can't even put them in a box and say, oh, well, my kid with Down syndrome potty trained at three. Well, what? that's not fair. You know, you get frustrated um, with things like that, but that's just the way it is. Um, okay, so what... Uh, share a special memory. Okay, so a special memory. We recently got back from our trip to Disney World, and I am telling you, Janelle is a rock star. Uh, we waited till she was tall enough to go on all of the rides before we took her, and she is the best roller coaster rider in the whole wide world. She, and uh, I'll try to send you a picture too. She, so one of the most fun roller roller coasters was at Hollywood Studios. It's called the Rock and Roller Coaster and it's in the dark. Uh, so you start um, and you shoot off really fast. Like in two seconds you go from stopped to 65 miles an hour and you go very fast. You do loops, you do corkscrews, you do all this stuff and it's in, you know, with this glow in the dark paint and it's really cool. They're playing really cool music. So I didn't know how Janelle was going to take the ride because she's never been on it before. So they uh, also, they'll take a snapshot of when you're riding the ride uh, as soon as you start and, you know, they speed up. So we have a picture of the four of our four of us in our family that went. And so my husband's eyes are closed because, you know, he's got his eyes closed in that picture. My nine-year-old son, Jesse, has this look of complete terror on his face. I kind of have a forced smile, but it's, you know, you feel all that stuff because you're going so fast. But Janelle, she's got the best smile of all of them. She's got a smile of all of them. She had this smile that's just complete joy and happiness. Um, and that's just how it is with Janelle. She's very, she just enjoys the moment. Uh, that's a, probably another thing that she's helped our family do is to enjoy enjoy life in the moment she's teach she's taught us that you know we were at animal kingdom and she just decided she was going to stop and dance um was anybody else dancing no but janelle said here's a stage i'm going to dance anyways uh and there was music playing so she was dancing and she had an audience at her you know right there uh so there's there's a lot of special things with janelle everything she does she has fun doing um, what activities is Janelle involved in? We have her involved in just, a, we have her in so much. She's got speech therapy twice a week. She's got occupational therapy twice a week. She's got music therapy, which she just had earlier today. That They come to the home, to our home to do that. She's got recreational therapy where she goes out in the community and she learns to do things like buying things or playing with other kids. She learns a lot of social skills and just trying uh, you know, to interact with people and to use her words. She also has hippotherapy, which is horseback riding. 
And that's Janelle right now crying. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. The Janelle was having crisis. And uh, so, like, just with kids um, right there, uh, she can't use her words as well. So everything is crying. That's probably another thing that I don't enjoy about it because her speech is so delayed that she cries too much and doesn't use her words all the time. But whatever. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. But so what were the – okay, oh, also oh, hippotherapy. So that's horseback riding. Um, and sh she's learning to ride a horse completely by herself. And that's very fun to watch her be able to do that. Uh, we also have her in Special Olympics. And she does swimming, bowling, track, and basketball. And um, she she loves all of them. And um, that's it's, – it's very fun to get her – out in the community doing other things and being around other kids that have special needs. And, um, you know, she also does dance. Uh, I have her in a special needs dance class. Uh, so I have her in a lot of different things, um, just like I did with my other kids. And uh, I want to keep her busy. Uh, what grade is she in? She is in the sixth grade. Uh, we held her back one year because she's so tiny. She's actually the size of my nine-year-old. So they get, they look like they're twins. They could be twins. We get that all the time because she's so small. And she will be 13 years old in a couple of weeks. So um, those are all the questions that you asked. And um, basically, uh, just on, on a side note, or, uh, just to add, um, I don't think – wait a minute. I think I did forget a question. Um, what should we know about kids with Down syndrome? I think – did I answer that? I can't remember. But anyways, kids with Down syndrome, you should treat them just like you do any other kid. Um, and you'll be talking to them at a lower level – but they understand a lot more than they probably can communicate. Um, you just need to slow slow things down. And you can't just ask them like, oh, what was your favorite, this, that, or the other. You have to give them a choice of one or two things. Like, did you like this or this? Uh, or would you like to eat this or this? I mean, you can have conversations with them. But you have to, like, be involved in the conversations. But um, – and – They'll play just like on any other kids. Janelle likes to watch a lot. She enjoys watching other people, but she also in my, likes to get involved in whatever she's doing. Um, I think that's all your questions. Um, oh, I'll go get Janelle so you can meet her. Okay, so here's Janelle. She's had a little bit of a crisis because she wants to play video games, and her older or younger brother is playing video games. So Janelle, say hi. Hi. This is hi, say hi, Sydney, and Sydney's class. Hi. And Janelle, well, let's just have you talk. What are some things that you like to do? Do you like to go to your dance class? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, she's lying. She loves to go to her dance class, and she loves dancing afterwards. But her favorite word is no. Um, okay, Janelle, um, what are you going to be for Halloween? Nothing. You are going to dress up as Anna. She's dressing up as Anna, but we're having a crisis right now. So she's very upset because she wants to play video games. Um, what, what other things do you like to do? Do you like to read your books? Mom, no. She likes to read her books. Okay. Just like other kids like to read and play with their toys, Janelle likes to do that too. So um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, do you, who do you sleep with at night? Snickers? She's, she sleeps with Snickers. Snickers is our Chewini. It's a little dog. And Snickers likes to sleep under the covers. And every single night <laughs> since her brother went off to college, Snickers has to go with sleep with Janelle. Okay. Um, okay. So who, al who else do we have as our pets? Ah. Oh, Janelle, you want to show how you can bend in half? <sighs> Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> she's she's gonna be snoring now. <laughs> hey, oh make oh show everybody your grumpy face. This is grumpy cat. <laughs> she's doing grumpy cat. You um, be, be big. What? Oh she's doing grumpy. <laughs> um, hey, do you wanna show them how you dance? Oh, hold on, stance. Stand up. No! 
Okay, no, we don't have any music going on. We need music to dance. Robot. Oh, she's doing robot? You're doing robot? <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, let's see. What else can we talk about or do? Um, do you have fun with Morgan? Yeah. When you go to re recreational therapy with Morgan? You like that? Yeah. Yeah. Where were you just now? Were you bowling? Did you have fun bowling today? <laughs> no. Okay. One thing, Janelle likes looking at herself in any shape or form. She likes watching videos of herself. So, she is now making silly faces. So, that's why she was making those faces. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, look who's here. Midnight. Midnight. Our cat. So, oh, our cat has come into the room, and I, this is difficult to videotape while I'm looking this way, <laughs> but this is Janelle, and Hi. Um, so, do we want to share anything else with them about you, Janelle? Oh, the clothes. The clothes? Yeah. Oh, you want the door closed? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's going to close the door. She gets <laughs> very... She, Janelle has to, um, oh, <laughs> she, she, she lifted up her leg because she's a goofball. Okay. So, um, let's see. What else do you want to share with Sydney? Cross, cross. Oh, I have to sit and cross my yeah. legs. <laughs> She's very specific on what she wants me to do. Um, this is a stem. She will flap her hands, and I will say, Janelle, don't be <laughs> No flapping, okay? Um, kids with Down syndrome, or some, some kids with different disabilities, they'll have different stems. Where they feel like they want to flap their hands or whatever. Okay, she's crying because she got off the camera. Do you want to say anything else to Sydney? Mm. Oh my lord, <laughs> she's making fun. <laughs> you are such a goofball, Janelle. No goofball. Oh, you're right. You are a goofball. Go and you're and you're a hot mess, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's she's making goofy faces and she's enjoying every second of it. So, um I think hey. that's whoop. Mom. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> enough for now. And yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's pretty lengthy, so I hope you get a good grade on your report and all that. Uh we've enjoyed chatting with you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>